Hi, I'm Robert Carrasco with the RC Voice Studio. In this vocal artist training video, you'll learn how to practice and master the art of your vocal onset for sound production. Or another way of putting it would be figuring out how to transition from your exhale and turning that with as little effort as possible into actual sound for your singing or speaking. I call this exercise out of thin air. And this exercise is fundamental slash vital for great vocal artistry. And I'm going to explain to you the importance of this using a common expression that we all know. The expression is you got to learn to crawl before you walk. Right? Now, most singers I encounter tend to walk, run, do cartwheels, do karate before they ever learn to crawl. And then they wonder why they're having a problem. <laughs> and then I also get some people that do crawl and then they learn to walk. And that's wonderful. But what I find that most people miss is this, is that in between crawling and walking, you got to first learn how to stand. So to put it in perspective for singing is think about this. Think about the crawling as you're breathing, the standing as you transitioning from breathing into making sound, and then the walking, the running, the cartwheels, the karate, whatever it is you're doing, that is your actual singing. That's your performance. Okay, so it's super important that you understand this is a very subtle exercise, yet it's extremely powerful and vital. So here's your goals for this exercise. First, you always want to go for vocal ease, meaning how easy can you do this? What the least amount of effort possible to do this exercise? That's always your number one goal for this. Always, always, always. Two, to help you with that number one goal is to always Try to keep your breath going in and out smoothly, and most importantly, silently. Okay, That will give you the control you need to master this subtle exercise. All right, so let's get started with the exercise. So first what you're going to do is you're going to stand and just breathe. All I want you to do is breathe in your nose, out your mouth, and I want you to take as long as you need to do that until you can get your breath to go in and out smoothly and silently. And I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and pause the video right now and just breathe until you can go in and out smoothly and quietly. Go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, now that you've got your breathing in and out silently, what I would like for you to do now is we're going to get our tongue and we're going to stick it out of our mouth. In fact, we're going to do this exercise with our tongue in three different positions to help create the vocal ease that we're looking for. First thing you want to do is you're going to stick your tongue out of your mouth and gently clamp down on it with your teeth and your lip, just enough so that your tongue doesn't fly back into your mouth. And all you're going to do is, while you do that, you're just going to breathe in and out of your nose quietly for as long as you need to until your breathing slows down. Okay? And it's going to be something like this. And that's it. So go ahead and pause the video and breathe until you feel like you can breathe in and out silently through your nose with your tongue sticking out of your mouth. Go ahead and pause now. Okay, now that you've got your breathing in and out to be quiet and your tongue may have stopped quivering by now, which some of you might have experienced, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, with the tongue still out of your mouth and your teeth gently holding the tongue and the lips gently on like that, all we're gonna do now is we're gonna practice adding in sound. So here's how you do it. So as you're breathing in and out, and my hands will demonstrate the breathing in, and the breathing out like this because you won't be able to hear the breath, okay? But the idea is you breathe in silently and then you're going to let a little bit of silent air come out of your nose first and then you're going to add just enough effort to actually make a sound and that's it. It'll be something like this. If you notice, I didn't make a loud, heavy sound. In fact, it'll feel to you almost like it's a distant horn, a distant foghorn way off in the distance somewhere. It's not a powerful, heavy sound at all. If you're, if you're doing something like, hmm, hmm, and you hear your breath going, hmm, hmm, if you're doing that, you're totally not doing what I want, okay? So you want to think about slow, quiet breath 
and just adding just enough effort to make the sound. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and keep trying it until you can do that over and over and over again effortlessly. All right, go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, now that you've mastered that, let's take our tongue now and stick it back in the mouth so it's about halfway into the mouth but still sticking out about like so. And now, hum that same pitch you just were doing with the same concept. Let the air come in. A little bit of air comes out first. Cool. Try that a few times on your own. Pause the video, and once you've mastered that, we'll continue on. Go ahead and pause now. All right, now that you've mastered it with your tongue sticking halfway out of your mouth, let's try the same exercise with your tongue just behind your teeth and just behind your lips, almost like it's about to stick out between both. So it'll be something like, almost like you're about to bite the tip of your tongue, but you don't, but almost. All right, now with your mouth in that position, give the same hum with the same pitch, whatever pitch you chose before, and see if you can make that the same sound like you did before, but with your tongue in that position. Go ahead and try that, something like this. All right, try that. Pause the video until you feel like you can do that effortlessly over and over and over again. And then when you're done, unpause and we'll continue on. Go ahead and pause now. All right, so now that you were able to do it with your tongue in three different positions, let's now try all three of them in order. And your goal here for this time now is to see if you can make them each sound exactly the same no matter what position your tongue is in. All right, so let's try it. So with the tongue sticking all the way out. Take a breath in and do it with the tongue halfway out of your mouth. Take another breath, this time with the tongue just barely behind your teeth and just barely behind your lips. Were you able to keep them all even no matter what position your tongue was in? If you have, then you've got this exercise down. Now, what I love about this exercise is that it's very subtle, it's easy to do, it's relatively effortless. It does take a little concentration, but that's about it. And what's great is that you can do this all day, every day, no matter where you are. You could do it on the subway, you could do it in your car, you could do it in a room where it's, you know, people are talking. You could do it while you're at your computer. You could do it while you're watching TV. You could do it while you're reading a book. There's no limit to when you can do this exercise. And the more you do it, the more you're training your voice to make sound in an easy, effortless way. And in subsequent videos, I'm gonna show you how to take this simple out of thin air concept and turn that into crazy, epic vocal artistry, allowing you to do anything. But this is the key. So master this, take your time with it, don't rush it. It's not about power on this one. This is a very subtle exercise. It's not about power, subtlety. All right, thank you so much for watching. I know this exercise will benefit you. It has helped me tremendously throughout my career. I know it will help you. Let me know how it worked for you. If you like this, go to the RC Voice Studio Facebook page and like it. Share, share this exercise with your friends, talk about it. Or you can go to my YouTube channel and you can subscribe and get videos sent to you so you can become an epic vocal artist. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to next time. Cheers.